So, it's my favorite time because we are introducing new color. I love color. I think it's actually my favorite thing to do around here is to pick colors. And um, I actually have to tell you, I'm a little disappointed and it's not disappointment in the colors, but we were planning on launching for this Black Friday, uh, four new manicures and four new go times. And unfortunately, we just didn't receive the go time in time. Go time in time, ha. Um, anyway, so that is to be in the future, uh, probably for the end of the year sale. Um, but when I do, pick color and we, we, we sit down and we're looking at color. We kind of have the colors tell us a story and I like the go time and the manicure to kind of work with each other. So we're gonna only get half of the story right now, but this half is, is good half. So we are going to introduce you to our four new fall slash winter colors right now. First color I'm gonna do is Trust Fall. Now, Trust Fall is a, this kind of reminds me of uh, selfie, uh, self-fulfilled, what is it? Selfie fulfilled prophecy? Self-fulfilling prophecy? Yeah, it's one of our colors, our caption colors, or I'm sorry, it's not caption anymore. It is YN polish colors. Um, and it's a color that I really love, but this is kind of like on a lighter version and it has a beautiful, almost like silver metallic to it. Um, so you have that pink tone, you have that pearl tone, you kind of have a silver metallic tone. Um, beautiful, beautiful for parties, holidays, it's gonna really go with anything. And I really um, try uh, to pick colors that are gonna go on everybody's skin tone. And light colors can be a little challenging on um, some skin. I think this is gonna go well for everybody. So um, this is Trust Fall. Let's go ahead and cure it out. I'm gonna cure it for just uh, a few seconds. We'll do 10 seconds and then we're gonna put our second layer on. When you're doing manicure, we have some great videos on prep and how to prep for it and what you should do. We're just putting it over some tips today. I've already um, buffed them out a little bit and we're gonna just set them up for about 10 seconds. now. When I'm doing manicure, I like to cure them for a full 30 seconds and then do my second coat. Um, but this is gonna set it up enough for us to do the second coat. Get that on. Let's see. Yeah. See, I have a hard time wearing these tones and I think I would really, really love this on my skin. Um, I don't know if I really do have a hard time wearing this tone or if I just don't like the tone on myself, but it, I always felt like it washed me out. And this has just enough kind of metallic silver to it that I think it works really well. So let's go ahead and put that in the light. We'll do a 30 second cure while I grab the next color. Next color, we are going to do Vibe Check. It's <laughs> a good name. Um, so. I like the vibe of Vibe Check. This is a really beautiful, it's a lavender tone, but it's kind of, um, what's really popular right now is kind of that dirty, I call it dirty. It's it's a, it's not so bright. It has a little um, dullness to it. I shouldn't say dullness. It has grit to it. It has some depth to it. It has, uh, yeah. It, I call it dirty. It's hard to explain. It does have a, that pearl tone to it. It has more of a, a kind of a pink undertone, but yet that lavender is really, really showing through. Um, again, it goes beautiful with Trust Fall, but this reminds me of colors that I used to do when I first started doing nails in 1990, but an updated version. I think it's, I think again, that it's super, super gorgeous and that it's gonna go on anybody's skin tone. Again, let's just cure it out for 10 seconds and we'll put our second coat on. I like to do manicure typically in two coats. Uh, a lot of our colors have very, very good coverage to it, but uh, the second coat for me, even if I got pretty much a full coverage on the first coat is kind of like 
a really good touch up and to make sure that everything's nice and even. This one is really interesting because you kind of see dark and light both in it. It's, it's kind of a unique, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can kind of see, it almost looks like it's changing colors, like a purple, a darker purple to a lighter purple. It's hard to describe, but absolutely stunning. Again, yeah, I would love that. Okay, let's cut this out. Okay, guys, next <laughs> is brass knuckles. Again, all these colors have a good shimmer to them. Now this one, I, um, I don't know if you guys remember, I'm dating myself, I think I'm dating myself. Remember the copper tone? Copper tone and the, the little girl and she's just like all bronzed and you know, back in the day we did a lot of tanning. This just reminds me of like a beautiful summer golden tan but it works so good for winter. Like this is gonna go with so many different things. Brown tones, pe it has a peach undertone to it uh, and that golden shimmer. Uh, it brings a lot of warmth to the skin. Um, and again, I think this is gonna be so amazing for fall um, and those golden brown copper tone tones. Um, again, I'm dating myself totally. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get this in the light for 10 seconds. I can't wait to get the second coat on this one. I actually really need this color in my life right now. It's just one of those yummy, feel good colors that you put it on and you just keep on looking at. Again, it has kind of this interesting, when you move it around, it's kind of like um, this lavender purple tone. It has that, orange, copper, peach. It's really, really interesting, but I think it's something you would look at for hours looking at your own hands. Let's get it in the light for 30 seconds. Now our last color is more kind of in the literal holiday sense. We don't typically do a lot of those because I find that some customers come in and they're like, I want emerald green or I want red and they absolutely hate it within 2.2 seconds. They're like, don't ever wear red. They don't ever wear green. It, it's strictly for the holidays. You're like, Sally, why are you doing this to yourself? So we needed to kind of give it a, um, a holiday feel, but something that you can wear past the holidays or prior to the holidays, like from Thanksgiving past Christmas or right into New Year's. So this color is called Plant Sitter. <laughs> um, and it's got that emerald tone, but again, it's not that classic jewel tone. It's got that dirty tone that I was talking about over here. It's got the gold shimmer, which is kind of carried out. We got the shimmer going throughout. Um, I think this is really on trend for this year as far as greens go. And again, it's gonna be something that you can wear past the holidays right into New Year's. That, this would look amazing with like a glitter press on top of it, um, some glitter press nails with that um, stress ball. Did you guys see that stress ball glitter that we just came out with? That with this, ooh, and maybe some crypto glitter. Very hot, very perfect for New Year's. I really wish guys that I could show you the, um, the go time. I wish we had the go time color so you could really see the full story and how they all work together. Um, Cause there are some green, there's another green tone, but more in the army uh, green family. Um, there is another orangey red that kind of works with all these, um, another purple. We'll show you, and maybe when we come out with those, we'll show you with the manicures so you can kind of get a full idea. We get a lot of questions about, well, why would I use Go Time versus manicure? Some people like one step gels. Personally, I still use manicure base under it. I just use it for color. Which color do I like? I like this color in manicure. 
I like this color in go time. It's not going to stop me from using one or the other. Um, you can you can put a manicure base under it. You can put it both of them over enhancements. For me, it's just preference, um, and I really have no preference when it comes to either one of them. It's strictly what color I'm going for. So that's why we kind of like to bring them four at a time together, so you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use. Of course, as we know, you know, if you're new to color combos, we know that like these two are gonna go very well together. And these, especially with both having that gold shimmer, just are meant for each other. But you could also go these tones together, which would be abso absolutely stunning. Um, I think I would even go, If I was really feeling adventurous, I'd probably, I would do all three of these. I think that would be a beautiful color combo. Again, they all have that kind of gold tone to it that kind of makes it work for each other. Um, especially with this color in between, it has um, that copper tone and these have that little flakes of copper tone in it. I hope you really like them. Again, once we have our go time, we'll tell you the full story. And I think we need probably Karen immediately to do some combinations with this and the new glitters because I kind of foresee some amazing combos also. Um, tell us what you think, put it in the comments. And thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To check out more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.